Now let's have a look at Mr. Go. And Mr. Go is this huge, huge channel. It means that at the height of Katrina, you had this pipe connect to the Gulf of Mexico, 40 to 50 feet deep, and the water was moving up at a 10 feet per second. Now, the Corps knew that the levees along uh, the Mr. Go in some places were seven feet too low. Well, why didn't they do something about it? Who made the decision not to do that? This is some of what you would have seen. Uh, sheet pile over top, sheet pile destroyed, tops of levees completely gone. In some places, the sandy levees totally destroyed, completely washed out. And we also think there were some other factors going on and you even eroded holes because it was sandy material and the water went down and it liquefied it and out it popped. Now, another important issue is Lake Bourne. What's critical is when you hear them saying, oh, our data shows that if you close Mr. Go, it doesn't do anything. The important thing to realize is the Corps of Engineers only looked at one small section. They didn't look at this reach, the reach that goes into the city. And that's crucial because that's where you have the maximum surges. Now we took their data and we ran our models and this is what I wanted you to see is that Mr. Go increases the time that the surge has. And it meant the surge started much earlier than it did in the past. 